step one, build a house. This can start off as a pile of dirt or a small wooden one, but I recommend building something around the size 8x8x5, eight eight as that gives you enough room for machines and piping and cables all in the same room. Step two, go mining. You're going to need a hell of a lot of resources and you're probably going to have to keep coming back to find more. I'll put the exact numbers on screen so it'll be too many to read out. But um, yeah, you can strip mine but I find spelunking to be more efficient and more fun. Step three, get some rubber. Rubber is essential for a lot of fins that we're going to craft. And it comes from a rubber tree which is distinguished by its too high peak of leaves and you can use a tree tap to extract sticky resin from the tree or there's a chance you'll get some sticky resin when you cut it down and that is turned into rubber by cooking in the furnace and you also probably want to collect the saplings of the rubber trees so you can start your own orchard near your house just for ease of use to be honest step four build a chest you're going to need somewhere to store all the materials, so make a double chest and make sure you put it at least two blocks away from the furnace. And that'll make more sense a little later in this video. Step 5. Build a generator. This is the first new machine you'll want to build. It's made by combining a regular furnace with an RE battery, which is made by 4 tin, 2 redstone and a copper wire. And the copper wire is made by rubber and copper. And you want to combine that battery with the furnace and also with a machine block which is a circle of eight refined iron and you can make that by smelting iron ingots a second time and the generator uses coal to create electricity which you can use to power other machines step six build an extractor this is made with another machine block combined with four tree taps and an electrical circuit which is made with six wires, two redstone and a refined iron. The extractor is a more efficient way to get rubber. It gives you three per sticky resin and also if you put the actual wooden log from the rubber tree in there it will also turn into some rubber. Step 7. Wire it. Like most machines the extractor needs power you can power it by connecting it to the generator with wire, which you just right click to place. Typically you would wire underneath the floor to save on room and to make it look nicer, but I did it above ground so you could see what it looks like. Step 8. Build a macerator. The macerator is a machine that turns ore into two dust, which each turn into one ingot when smelted, therefore doubling your yield. It's made with an electrical circuit, a machine block, two cobblestone and three flint. Make sure to place this two blocks away from your furnace as well and wire it up to the generator. Step 9. Upgrade your furnace. This isn't essential but I find it very helpful to upgrade to an electric furnace as it doesn't require the use of coal. The electric furnace is made by combining two redstone, an electrical circuit and an iron furnace. An iron furnace is made the same way as a normal one, but with iron instead of cobble. Remember to wire this up to the generator as well. Step 10. Connect with pipes. You want a set of pipes taking fins from the macerator to the furnace, and then from that to your chest. The normal pipes for transporting are stone and cobblestone pipes, created by combining one glass with two, either stone or cobblestone. These both do exactly the same job, but they won't connect to each other, allowing you to have two separate lines next to each other without them all joining and getting muddled up. And to extract an item from a machine into the pipeline, you'll have to use a wooden pipe, which is made with the same recipe, swapping the stone for wood. The wooden pipes will also need to be powered by a redstone engine, this is created by combining three wood, one glass, one piston, and two wooden gears, which are made by combining four sticks. And once given a redstone current, the redstone engine will run, and if it is placed next to a wooden pipe, it will allow it to take items from a machine. So now an ore placed in the macerator will be turned to dust, moved into the furnace, melted into bars, and moved into the chest. 
Step 11, build a condenser. This is a complicated one to build. The energy condenser is built with four diamonds, four obsidian, and an alchemical chest. The alchemical chest is built with a normal chest, two iron, two stone, a fifth diamond, and all three types of covalent dust. The green dust is made with eight cobblestone and a bit of charcoal. Cyan dust is made with iron and redstone. And blue dust is made with coal and a sixth diamond. So overall this build costs you six diamonds and you'll need a seventh left over at the end to use. Not including the three you'll need to mine obsidian. So it's a very expensive build but it's also very worth it. The energy condenser has a small upper section and a large lower section. If you place for example a diamond in the upper section everything you put in the lower section will be turned into EMC which is a kind of value and then when you have enough EMC it will make another in this case diamond different things have different values dirt is one whereas diamond is just over 8000 so basically you can in theory make unlimited diamonds just by having one and a ton of random shit that you don't need anymore Step 12. Build a bat box. Now that we're going into more advanced machines, the generator alone won't provide enough power, so we're going to upgrade. To start with, we need a bat box, which is built with a copper wire, five wooden planks, and three RE batteries. The bat box has one side that looks different. In the default texture, it's got a circle on it. This is the output, and you want all the wires linking your machines to go into this part. All your sources of power can go into any of the other sides, for example the generator. Step 13. Build solar panels. Now that we have a bat box we can invest in more power. A solar panel is built by combining a generator, two electrical circuits, free glass and free coal dust, which is made from macerating coal. You also want to invest in glass fibre cable to connect it to the bat box made by combining six glass, two iron and a diamond. This gets you six bits of wire so it's expensive but you should be able to manage using the energy condenser. You want as many solar panels as you can build and eventually you'll want to cover your roof entirely. Step 14. Build a quarry. A quarry will dig a mine shaft down all the way until it reaches either lava or bedrock. It's also an expensive build created by combining redstone with a diamond pick and gears. You already know that a wooden gear has four sticks. To upgrade this, you surround it by four cobble for a stone gear, then that with iron for an iron gear, that with gold for a gold gear, and finally that with diamonds for a diamond gear. You're going to need three iron, two gold, and two diamond gears for the quarry, and you also need a lot of power, so I recommend an electrical engine built with three tin, one glass, one piston, and two tin gears. The gears are made by surrounding a stone gear with tin. And this engine will need to be connected to your power with cables and activated with a lever. You can also mark out the size you want your quarry by placing four landmarks in a square, created by combining a redstone torch with a lapis. Finally, you'll need to bring stone pipes out the top to take all the blocks that are dug up from the quarry back into your house. Step 15. Sort the materials. You want to bring the materials from the quarry into the house, but not all into the same place. The materials can be filtered by adding a diamond pipe created in the usual pipe recipe. When stone or cobble pipe is attached to the diamond pipe, you will see a colour appear. When you right click on the diamond pipe, you can add items to the filter to only allow those specific items to follow that colour exit. So I would have ores in the green filter, so they will go into my macerator. I'll leave my yellow filter blank so any special items like gems and diamonds go into the chest. I would filter dirt, cobble, sand, gravel and marble into the condenser as none of it is particularly useful but a lot will come out of the quarry. And finally I would lead coal around into the bottom of my generator to add bonus power. And there you go. You now have all the basics of Techit set up, and you can start looking into more advanced projects like nuclear power and mass fabrication, but that's something for a different video to explain. So, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you understand how to start playing Techit. 
subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you next time.